there's a rule we have in my house. Uh, we made it up. We made a set of rules up about, I don't know, had to be eight, 12 months ago now. But one of the rules was no cursing. Uh, and the rule was mainly, if not completely, directed at me. So it's me, my wife, and my son. Um, I'm the one, the only one that really curses in the house at all. And for a period, <laughs> recently, uh, probably cursed too much. And that's hence the reason for the rule. Um, so it's something I've been trying to work on. I've been trying to stop cursing as much. Uh, understanding that my wife and my son don't like it. Understanding that from my own perspective, uh, when I when I step back and I really look at it, it's not something that I want to do. I don't feel like it's the best version of myself. Uh, it's not the example I want to set for my son. And ultimately, it just feels like it's it's a loss of control, right? You let your anger get the best of you or your emotions get the best of you, and that's where cursing comes in. So short story being something I wanted I wanted to stop. And I've had varying success at it. I think at times I've gotten better uh, just in general as I've been able to control my temper more. But I, I've had more success seemingly controlling my temper than controlling the cursing, which is odd uh, because they do, I would think, go hand in hand in many ways. And I do think they go hand in hand in many ways. But nevertheless, I was, I was still struggling with that. When, when I did lose my temper a little bit, when, when the situation did warrant that or seemed to allow for it, almost always I would curse. So, you know, I guess even though the times in which I lost my temper maybe went down, uh, the percentage of those times in which I cursed remained the same. So, you know, there's still a decent amount of cursing happening. So it, it feels like or felt like one of the perfect, you know, examples of those situations that I talked about where somebody's lying, right? And in this case, somebody in my own mind, <laughs> some different components of my mind are, are lying to each other. Because on the one hand, when I step back and think about it and I look at the rule we made for as a house, you know, I don't want to curse. And, and that should be a rule. And I should stick to it. And it makes perfect sense to me. Yet, when certain situations arise, I am seemingly free and <laughs> have no issue with cursing. It seems to be something that uh, I, I justify in some way and I, and I re re revert to. So that always requires inspection. You have to understand who's lying, why they're lying, what's going on here. And what I started to discover as I, as I really dug into that, and again, I think it makes for the interesting example, is the lie that I, I think I was telling myself was that cursing had no benefit, that cursing was just as I said before, it was, it was a loss of control, it was emotions taking over, it was you know hurtful to the people around me perhaps, it set a bad example, all those things. And, and I believe in many ways those things are true, um, but it was ignoring a benefit that I think cursing has, or at least I, I have to believe cursing has given the way I act. Um, and that is, I believe there's an efficiency to cursing. And if you've listened to some of my other videos, you know, I, I talk about being logical, being rational, being efficient are all things that I value very greatly. And I think of efficiency as um, the speed and accuracy in which you get to your objective, right? Um, so being efficient in terms of your objective is something that just feels logical to me. The quickest way you can do that, the simplest way you can do that and still hit your objective, that's what you want to strive for. And cursing seems to have that effect. At least I assume it does. Um, the effect being if, if my son does something or my wife does something that I don't like or that I don't want them doing or if something's already happened and again, let's say my son did something bad and I want him to understand how serious the situation is, it seems to be that by putting the curse in there, it, it, it makes that point of emphasis. It, it, it gets them, it almost forces them to understand and acknowledge like, oh, this is, this is serious here. You know, this is something I need to listen to, or this is something I messed up that I need to learn from, or whatever it is, or he's angry, right? I want to get that point across. And there's, there's different ways you can hit those objectives, right? You could have a long, drawn-out conversation explaining why you're angry and what happened. You could yell really, really loudly and, you know, punch a hole in the wall. You could do all sorts of things like that, right? Um, you could 
you curse <laughs> ultimately. And, and for me, it seems like cursing is the most efficient of those, right? You can give a timeout, you can give punishments. There's all different things you could do. But to me, if in the moment, you know, if it's a situation where it's, hey, I need my, my son to understand right now what he's doing is wrong, or I need him to understand right now that what he did, he needs to learn from, and this is a big problem and it's serious. Cursing seems to be the most efficient route to that. Um, if I just say it, it doesn't have the same effect. If I yell it, there's other costs to it. There's other things. It takes more energy. It might turn into a huge argument. But if I throw an F word in there, <laughs> um, it, to, in my mind, it, it makes the point clear in fewer words, fewer effort, fewer resources needing to be exerted. Um, not at least hopefully in that moment having to worry about punishment or anything. So again, coming back to it, the lie I was telling myself was there's no benefit here. But what was happening was in the moment, I think, when the situation presented itself, my mind was doing this quick calculation that I wasn't even fully aware of that was saying, yep, it comes out net positive <laughs> to curse because you're, you're, you're getting some benefit of efficiency in it. And, you know, it's, 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 a, it's an important thing because... I do truly want to stop cursing. Um, at least that's what I tell myself, right? So I, you need to figure out these, type, these, these instances where you're lying, these instances where you don't have all the answers or you have a blind spot, and then figure out where you go from there. And I'm still in the midst of it, to be honest, right now, but it at least gets me to that next step where I say, okay, now that I have a clearer picture of the actual calculation of the benefit and costs of cursing, um, let's, let's run those numbers again and see what it comes out and, and be open to the idea that maybe I'm of the belief that cursing actually isn't a bad thing if done in moderation. Um, and if it's the worst thing I do, right. Uh, and it has that efficiency benefit, maybe it's okay. Maybe that's fine. Right. That's something that I have to be willing to entertain. Whereas, you know, a month ago or whatever, I would have just told myself, no, 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 cursing is definitely bad. There's no doubt about it. And you know, once you do that and you say, okay, maybe it's, maybe it's net positive, you know, just like I had to check the benefit side of the equation, you need to check that cost side again though, right? And, and, and in an empathetic, uh, self-aware, but also aware of your surroundings and your audience type of way. Uh, it's because my son, my wife being the main people, I need to think about, you know, what's the impact on them? This perception that I have of efficiency, are they even getting that? Is it actually true? Um, and are there other costs? If I just kind of let this thing go, is there you know, harm that's being done to them or emotional, whatever? So it, it just allows you to reevaluate the calculation, but doing it more effectively, digging in, understanding what you actually think about it, not what you aspire to think, not what you want to tell people you think, even if that is your son or your wife or yourself, <laughs> that you want to believe, you know, I'm a person that gets it, cursing is, is bad. Um, it's that you have to do that extra digging and, you know, the mental toughness comes in there because sometimes you get the answers that you don't like, um, or at least that don't seem to make sense with what you think your values are. But it's only once you get into that and just be truthful about it that you can figure out a better way. So hopefully I'll be making another video soon about how I, the kind of the conclusion I came to on that and then I can put that thing to rest one way or another, but still, still in the midst of the journey on that one.